Hi, Sherry. My wife and I had the privilege of uh, visiting your place at a party that was hosted there. And boy, we were very impressed. The food was great. The experience was great. The, the views from where you're at were wonderful. So uh, you're to be commended for it. just creating a wonderful place that uh, is adding to the Albuquerque dining scene. And we look forward to, to frequenting your place more often in the future. My name is Paul Jew and I own Moji Studios, which is a video production company. And I wanted to tell you about um, something that we did for a fellow restaurant owner that we're hoping could help you as well, too. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in the restaurant business. In 1950, my dad built this restaurant called New Chinatown on Central Avenue off of San Mateo. Uh, that's that peak stucco building on the left. In uh, 1976, he was able to grow it into this um, big restaurant which had about 450 people and I saw firsthand what it was like to be a restaurant owner and one of the things that I observed from watching my dad and mom was um, how frustrated and stressed they would get whenever an employee wouldn't do things right and I think we all can identify with these problems that can occur when an employee doesn't do something right decrease sales increase cost and increased owner stress also done a lot of research about what the impact is for a poorly trained employee and I believe that you know one of the things that um, a lot of the experts talk about is safety. Uh, we are legally obligated to provide a safe and healthy working environment for our employees and whenever we don't do that there's a increased risk for accidents or increased risk for getting sued or fined by the government. Another problem that we have I believe that's particularly true in the restaurant industry is turnover. I believe that the restaurant industry has one of the worst records in terms of keeping employees. Uh, but if they're poorly trained, it, it even um, exacerbates the problem even further. Uh, poorly trained employees are more likely to leave for a better situation or they're likely to get fired for poor work performance. And I heard this statistic that in hiring a, a new hire can cost as much as 30% of the job's total salary. Um, I saw recently in the paper not too long ago about this EEOC uh, suit lawsuit that is being filed against uh, a restaurant locally uh, for sexual harassment. And I believe that uh, the Me Too movement has emboldened people to step forward whenever there is a sexual harassment happening in the workplace. And people are being more and more uh, emboldened to file lawsuits against a restaurant if they feel that uh, something is happening in the workplace in the workplace that is inappropriate and I believe that uh, you know uh, we can all relate to decreased sales damage to our reputation whenever a customer complains or they uh, are unhappy but they don't complain they just never come back that it impacts the bottom line and um, I think that this is something that I witnessed firsthand from from watching my mom and dad when I was growing up is uh, that there's a personal price that we play, pay when an employee doesn't do something right, from aggravation and stress to more complaints, getting sued, getting fined by the government. All of those things are really difficult things to overcome. So um, one of the things I wanted to share with you is uh, you know, a client of mine by the name of Mary Allen Chavez, and uh, just a little bit about her. She has a restaurant called Brito Sol Instante. She has six locations in Los Lunas, Berlin, and primarily the, the South Valley. And she was having the following problems when it came to her employees. They weren't practicing the correct hygiene rules. The dress code wasn't being followed. Uh, not every customer was served with courtesy. Portion control rules were not being followed, and burritos were not being rolled properly. Uh, plus, she was experiencing a lot of problem with turnover. So one of the things that she did was she asked us to create an onboarding video for her new employees. And one of the things that she wanted to make sure it was covered were all of her points of culture. She had about 10 different points of culture that she wanted to make sure that all of her employees knew as to what made her restaurant unique and different. And part of that included customer service as well as nine other attributes. She also wanted to make sure that the dress code was covered. She wanted to make sure there was no ambiguity whatsoever in terms of what was expected for people to wear from head to toe when it came to coming to the restaurant. Another topic that she uh, put a lot of time and effort in was covering hygiene. 
uh, making sure that her employees knew exactly all of the different hygiene rules, which is very important in the food industry. Another issue that she was having with uh, some of her employees was portion control. So she went over portion control very thoroughly by explaining the different colors of spoons and the different ounces that each holds and how important it was to follow the recipe with the right portions for everything that they produced. Another uh, topic that she felt very frustrated with was when an employee didn't roll a burrito the right way. So she spent a lot of time talking about what not to do and also the correct techniques as to what to do when it came to rolling a burrito. And in the end, we produced this onboarding video for her that covered her points of culture, her proper attire, and how to roll a burrito. And some of the things that we also did for her to make her onboarding video more impactful was we spent a lot of time editing the video so that it, it had a good pace to it and it was engaging and it wouldn't be something where people would fall asleep as they watched it. Another thing that we did was we added subtitles and graphics to reinforce the key points even further. And then we also advised Mary Ellen on how to integrate her video with in-person training. So in the end, this was the uh, testimonial that Mary Ellen gave us. The difference is incredible. Every new hire now has the same experience and is cons consistently given the same information in an interesting and engaging video that your team was able to create. They took repetitive things and came up with ways to present them in a memorable way. We can't wait to work on more videos in the future. This has really helped our team tremendously in many ways. Uh, these are just some of the advantages of creating training videos for your restaurant. The first thing it does is it standardizes your training. One of the things that Mary Ellen really likes about her video is, is that she was the one who did the voiceovers and the demonstrations. So she knows for sure that she was showing people the right way to do things. So that's the great thing about, about video. Another thing that uh, a lot of people don't realize about video is it can be played again and again and again and again. It's like having this infinite workforce with endless energy. I think that all of us can identify with having to train an employee and then a after a while we get burnt out saying the same things over and over and over and over again and having to repeat ourselves. Uh, well, with a video you can uh, film it once and just have them play it over and over again as many times as an employee needs to make sure that they get it. So that's a great advantage of having a video. The other thing is it provides tangible proof that your training was very thorough. One of the things that I've come across in talking to business owners is that whenever they are being sued by somebody, it's important that they have tangible proof of all of the things that they did to prevent an incident from happening from the training. So. When you have a video that shows all of the things that you covered, you have a tangible piece of evidence that your training was very thorough and that people were exposed properly to the proper information. Another advantage is you're leveraging technology and how people like to learn. One of the things that has happened in this new era of digital technology is, is people don't like reading books and manuals anymore. They like and they're accustomed to going to YouTube, finding a video and finding out how to do something. And the great thing about this technology is it can be played anytime, any place, anywhere. And, and uh, it just leverages the way people like to learn now. And then I, I think that the biggest impact is it's going to make a lot of business sense. It will save you time, money, and aggravation when you have this powerful tool in your pocket to improve the performance of your restaurant. So Sherry, I'd love to meet with you. If you'd like to schedule a no-cost, no-obligation strategy call with me, just click below if you're watching this online, or you can give me a call at 315-3265. I look forward to meeting with you. Thanks.